Hello everyone, welcome back to someone plays Darkest Dungeon. Uh, first of all, apologize. It will be a bit. The video will be up a bit late. Only a few hours, though. So we sh I hope. I hope you'll forgive me for that. Yeah. Still not feeling the best, but I'm better than yesterday. So. Hey, uh, sisters, Helen and Butcher, but we're still missing. Uh, that's none of these. Uh, let's go, Norman Wagon. We don't need that. Werewolf Repost, always nice. I really like all the Beastmaster totems, just different animals. It's great. Uh, trinkets. Right. Okay. That was the last party we did to level them up. That went great. Okay. Close to the boss here, quite far here. Really close here and also quite far here. Let's see. Bumper crop. Sorry about that. No good like quest rewards, right? So Hmm. Courtyard, we could go for if they like if there was like uh either here or here the buff the next time you go to that one. I would have said yeah and then we do the boss next episode. Do we just go warrants? It's only medium, but I don't think even a long mission would get you from 40 to the end. So we do a medium now and then a second, then we have medium or long mission later. Or we do, I mean, courtyard with the furthest away, right? But I mean, we don't need the hero ring. We don't need... It's 20% protection, I just saw that. It's kind of okay, but I think we have it already, right? Yeah, we do. I mean, we don't need that either. And bumper crop is extra food, right? We don't actually need extra food. So we're just gonna do... Hmm. What is this? Okay. And do we do courtyard missions here? We could do the corrupt Scarlet Sheerful, but we don't need to. That's the thing. None of these are good. Again, I think I'm gonna wait for something or get something where I really want the relic, I think. So it's either this one or this one, I think. And I actually... I mean, you could also go long one, but long courtyard is dangerous. Real dangerous. And it's the medium. The warrants? We just beat the courtyard boss, right? So let's go somewhere else. Go warrants. Okay, what is the plan? Why don't we go... Oh, are we gonna be real cheeky? Like Houndmaster... Beastmaster for the full anti-swines... Shenanigans. Where, where are you? Did I scroll part there? There he is. You are front lines. Not for the cycle of life, but then we can put you like this. All the double actions. We're gonna have so many actions. Unbelievably many actions. Do we... we is this good enough? As far as healing goes... We do have a potential force guard. But... They don't have reposts. put it on someone in the back line who has repose. For example, her. She can repose from the back and then we can force guard on her. That's kind of hilarious, isn't it? And then she does bleed shenanigans, which is good for him. Like, would this be... This is really fragile. Where's the cook? Third position, you can force guard on her. She does the repose here for a bit of bleed. We got a double hits in the front line. He can help with mark with her. He doesn't really have max energy, but he's actually I think his damage on, on versus bleed is on crit, right? So it's not even real bleed synergy. 
We can do Ravenous on him to help with the... That's actually really good. But to help with the... Healing on her, and then... This is uh, at least a very interesting party composition, I think, like... Let's do it. Friendly skill heal 0 to 2. It's not bad. I mean, I'm gonna put this in here, but there is better for sure. We have some... Only this one. I don't want the less dodge. I mean, less crit received is nice and damage isn't bad, but I don't think we want that. I don't think we want that. I don't know you. There, I see a duplicate there. Let me get rid of that real quick. You have good things, but not this one. This re restores the enemy. Not good at all. Dodge in position one. Dodge in position one. No, crit, crit, and first round dodge in position one. Do I want to give him dodge? Less move resist. This is basically got to start him at seven at, at position four, where he gets the extra speed and then do bird of prey. To hit the back line, you get extra crit, extra damage, and then him in front line. Could we? Would that be bad? Start him in position four every fight for the plus speed. Less move resist is unfortunate, because if he's at the front, he can't do. I guess he can still do. No, he can't do hounds rush or go fetch, which is bad. Which means we need. Do we have a forward one somewhere? There's a forward one here. Okay, so if he gets moved back, he can move forward. We can live with that. Okay, what have we got here? You will guard, so we don't need you to stealth. We want not versus human, not versus Eldritch, we want beast damage, right? Here's position 4. I mean, this is accuracy and speed. Only in position 4, but we'll try to keep you in position 4. We have uh, this one. Damage versus beast, dodge stun resist, that's real good. We got actually... Wolf's tassel is also amazing, especially if, since we got marks. Could actually work on you as well. I guess we get rid of the dodge and stun resist. That's all damage though, we need some accuracy as well. We'll see. Friendly skills heal too. I think that's better than this for sure, because especially if you guard, hopefully, someone has to take this, either you or you. Ooh. Wait a second. Like, the, both of these are real good. You have damage, you get, a, you get plus 4 accuracy from the building, that has to be enough, right? Human outreach less accuracy is pretty bad. Like, I want to give these guys accuracy. I want you on this though. And you need accuracy. Now you only get the plus four and then you take this, but I don't want this on you. By the way, she will get, she's restoration master. And I'm going to try to make use of that by giving her the stress heal book. On friendly skills, shield 4, because extra 2 heal should be good enough, right? Because the extra healing doesn't... most of her healing is from restoration. Uh, I mean, the healing over time, not mm, this one. And now you use stress heal as well. That ought to help out. Now the thing was... I want this on her for the guard duration and damage and protection. Now she also is the only one with the accuracy boost, so you don't take the damage boost. But then, would I kind of want to try this out? Dodge in position one is also kind of nice, and seven percent base crit in the first round and four speed. He's going to be the fastest. 
And this is better than Wolf's Tassel, even though this would also be accuracy. If we mark and then attack, it's also 35% damage. We lose the dodge and stun resist though. And I think we want the accuracy here, especially since he attacks twice with his double stab and he has two chances to apply Blight. That's real good. And you, I think accuracy, speed, damage, protection is good. I think that's smart. Now, Wolf's Tesla is so good on you. But again, like normally, I'd probably switch the Sky Hunter out for the Lucky Frog and put the Tassel on him. The Hound Master. But I kind of want the Sky Hunter here. I'm going to miss Wolf's Tassel. Give this to you. Give the thing. Do we need the accuracy and speed? It is just good. But this one is dodge, right? Why don't we do this? And this, eh? Extra dodge will help us. Because she will guard. And I mean this is this is more damage. Of course, accuracy speed and less stress, she she will get stressed more now. But this way we we get all the other important ones I want. This by the way also good, but I think I mean I know this is better, and I also think this is better for sure. So we gotta go like this. You have the ravenous, the cougar sleep, a block, you take repost. This in case we have to move you back. This in case I, I it will never move you forward, right? So this probably will never happen. Guard skills are disabled, this is bad. Let's do the kiss of death. There might be sometimes where I want to mark and then he does extra damage halts rush. I don't think there will be. Okay, important. I said this last episode. We have so much gold. We should look at really bad quirks. Right. I mean, reckless is bad. Especially with... Inattentive is also bad. Let's see. Minus 15% crit is unfortunate. Also rebellious. Do you have anything positive we want to lock in? Not really. You're fine. We don't need the resolve experience. Tactless would be nice to remove. Healing skills, this is completely fine. Chance to refuse ally healing in combat might actually be pretty bad. Less stun resist, and then what would be good on you? Ah. It's hard to find important stuff. I mean, there is. Menacing is kind of nice. Dud hitter, that's fine. That's pretty unfortunate. I guess the bleed, but is there like... Virtue chance actually doesn't matter on her. We don't lock anything in here. Independent is completely fine. The yips is unfortunate. And then lock and tough is going to be expensive. But it's like the first one where I'm saying, hell yeah. I mean, this is 5,000. It's more. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Hard duration received. That's fine. Slow draw is okay. Let's bleed resist. We don't. The range skills isn't bad. Like I'm looking for some that I. You are in the party, you are in the party. Stress damage received is pretty bad on him. 
But a wheeled forward we can get around. Just don't take him to the wheel. That's fine. Ignorant is actually good. If it is now because she doesn't need to level. Fading is pretty bad. While well, not wearing trinkets. We don't need that. Plus 10 accuracy after the first round. You know what? That's something we can lock in. Something I'm happy with. Remove fading, get the accuracy. There were some... Some of the new ones. You had some really bad stuff, right? Devil's Curse. I don't think we can get rid of that. Never mind, we can. Oh, actually, Warrior of Light on him might not be the best idea, since sometimes I want him in pitch black. But whatever, you... Let's, let me check five. All the ranks are on five. You, I gotta check real quick. Crit versus bleeding in combat form. It's probably better than the poisoned bait. There's also the mark. Unless you have the healing, you have the guard, and then sometimes you butcher slice. Seems good. I think this party should actually crush the warrants. We need some of this. No, we need quite a bit of this, quite a bit of this, quite a bit of this. Some of this. Less of this. Two of these at least. Let me check for Scarlet Quirks real quick. And you're already master. Which means I don't have to rank you up. Don't need anything else. Mark would be fine. They're the Red Seals, but we're not fighting bosses or something like that. So let's just go. It is the Warrens. Honestly, that's kind of okay, because the Warrens are always, like the three white f hallways. I know I'm harping on that, but it's always so great. With the highly interwoven, but as long as you in the Warrens, Scout Chance is king. Which is kind of sad, because the Trinket Sotsa are... Like, normally I would love to have like a Scout Trinket on someone. The map, 25% Scout Chance. Makes it so easy to avoid all the bad stuff. I feel like struggling in the warrens. Bleeding, scout chance, and it, ideally someone who can remove diseases when resting. Like a plague doctor or other characters can do as well. At least on themselves. The only really dangerous thing is actually this guy. The special unit on the elite dungeons. That spear dude who can like hit the back three with a damage and bleed ability or stuff like that. Whew. Honestly, all of the special units are scary. Steal their food. Steal their food. Uh, that's uh, some loot. Gonna check real quick. Is there something there? No, okay, we know the whole place is empty. I shouldn't have checked through the other end. Oh, I never saw this, by the way, the corpse hanging over the door. Let's go, it's on all of them. The Start with the collector. The There's a quirk removal. Piled high and cloaked I don't have you in the last position where I wanted you. That's a bit unfortunate, honestly. Try the stun. Damn it. And he didn't get the extra turn. A singular strike. There's very little damage. It's like on the collector, if you get stun him in the beginning to get an extra turn, it's always great. Now we have a bit of trouble attacking the collector back there. I guess we'll try to kill the highwayman. He's the scary dude. 
Okay, he got guarded. That makes it a bit harder to attack the high one man there. And I guess we need the accuracy on her. Oh, goodness gracious. That wasn't needed. I'm gonna stun you off that. The problem is they're not beasts. Don't you dare. It's not a crit. That's still a lot of damage. We'll have to heal her next. I mean, remove the bleed. You're dead, right? No, not yet. Confidence no, you are. As the enemy crumbles. Okay, as long as you're in third position, we can get you. That's a buff. Oh, that's a dangerous buff. He's summoning. Oh, this fight is going to be annoying. I can see it already. We can't hit the... We can't hit the last position against the Collector. Oh no. Actually, I should have the Houndmaster just... Oh, but I think... <laughs> oh, the Rush doesn't hit the last position either. <sighs> oh, wait. But the other thing can pull. Okay, that's actually amazing. Do we stun? I think we will stun the damage dealer. You start cooking. I could do this though. 25% additional crit versus bleeding. No, we, we gotta start cooking. These two can guard and heal each other. I would be completely fine with that. Good. That was bleed and blight. Very nice. We will just kill him with damage over time, I guess. And there's a move back. That's unfortunate. I can mark and debuff you. I think I'm gonna stun the damage dealer again. Nice. Go fetch. That didn't work out, but he got damaged for a while. And this time he didn't crit his lifesteal. Oh no, that buff! It's huge! Oh, I need to guard. But also, I guess you still have some healing and you get extra healing of this actually. You take the healing and stress healing still. Okay, you can only attack here. So let's do that. Oh crit, that's a bleed and a blind. Ah, oh, this is... It's not gonna stun is the thing. I guess there's a tiny chance. Marking him refreshes the mark, yes, but this, I guess... But, I mean, re remarking just does Hound's Rush bonus damage, which we can't hit him with. So I'm gonna stun here, I was hoping, and then we will fetch you, as long as you're still marked. We can mark him next turn. That's dangerous. If we're lucky... Oh, he got an extra turn. Oh, this is... <laughs> still no crit. We did it. We dodged the crit. Even if he gets pulled back, we're fine. That's a bit unfortunate. The fact that her ability pushes him back when we're kind of screwed like this. I could do the slice. 25 damage, that's not gonna be good enough. We'll, we'd rather heal, I guess. Oh, illusion is not restoration. I did an oopsie. Somehow, I, in my brain, I was... Something was wrong there. But well, we're fine. I'm gonna stun you. I'm gonna counter rush you. Even though he's already dead. I guess hit the highwayman. It's gonna be some. 
the wounds of war you take some healing healed, but never hidden she actually replaced something dexterous okay no idea what that one is I will do this since as, as soon as this one oh he could, he could get healed oh, if he gets healed now okay he doesn't try to stun you if you're stunned we're completely fine we're fine everything is going excellent because now we've won oh you, you get another one okay uh, let's stun you Oh, you get another one. Okay, let's do this then. We don't need another attack. You take two turns. A Doesn't matter. Blind to its own okay, considering we had trouble hitting the back line, the, the rest worked really well. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven no. into the mud. No. We could have healed that off you now. Only it would have only cost us a torch. Okay, scout very good. Oh, and a too long scout. I guess from the corner it's not as amazing. 95 is real good. 95. Nine, three people with 95. That's a lot of trap this up. Hit me up with that torch, thank you. Oh, we get free anti and anti venom as well gonna loot here, move up. Ooh, yeah, I guess that's the right move still. On the other hand, we could also go through here, around this way, for the least backtracking, because if I go here, we gotta backtrack more. This way we can get an easy with backtrack this, and that's it. I think, yeah, that's actually better. Oh, we can stack food up to 16. Because the cook. That's a fallen party, but it's actually pretty easy. Oh, but they have ring and atonement beads. That's gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> and you got the coat and the musket ball. This is a good setup you got there. Oh, he's beast. We're gonna attack you big time. I'm gonna stun now. I'm gonna mark and attack, I think. Just try to beat him down. That's gonna be debuff. No, it's a buff. Oh, damn. This might actually be interesting. How the extra dodge. It's gonna self heal. We can deal with that. Because I can do this. Okay. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should have attacked the second vessel who's not got. Wait, what? Okay, I said the these are scary, but I didn't think they would be this scary. You still have the dodge, but if I hit this, I get the extra accuracy. Okay, that didn't work out. Maybe this hits. Oh, this hits. Okay, he's dead. Unless he gets healed, of course. We're gonna do this. I'm a bit spooked by how low he is. He's dead, so we do this. Is the weapon that cuts and now we got own. hit by their damage vestals. What the hell? I think it's time for you to start healing the team the way is lit. The path with is some clear. restoration. We require only the strength to follow it. So I want to, they have 80%, he has 140, that's a 60% chance to stun. And there you go. 
Well struck. A bit of additional damage. And she's dead. I'm gonna attack her again. To reduce the chance of getting that second attack I actually didn't do much. Quickly the tide turns. Smart block. And I'm still gonna do that. And now you can do unfavoring again. I don't think they can hit the back lines with their mace bash. That's why I'm not doing guard or something else. Let's try to stun you. Beautiful. That's just the dodge buff. We don't need that. Oh, you can do it again. Oh, you can do it again. That might actually be a kill now. Their formation is broken. Sure. Maintain I can do it again. <laughs> Is that a bit like did it change Seize this with the patch? Push on to the tasks end. Did you get stealth buffed? It feels like that happens way too often. Also, I should finally remember that that was the plan the whole time. There's a freaking sky button. Get him! I don't have it equipped. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad, very, very bad, no good. At least he can't jump forward, at least. That's the spooky attack, cripple them. That's a real dangerous party, and I screwed it up. Can they survive another turn? I think I got... No, she, she's marked. I have to do the guard. Otherwise she get, will get attacked by the flesh eaters. Do you want to give her two turns instead of attacking here? No. That's our chance to kill this one. Okay. You cannot stun. We could have him heal and dodge, because I guess this thing can be stunned. And we'll buff the dodge again. You need to heal him. Nice, a crit, crit secondary heal. You take the anti-venom and you do the leap again. And you will leap a third time until we have you in position. The cripple them does more damage to this one, like less to these two. She can't, I guess she can heal herself by taking... This is really dangerous. I'm happy about the guard, but she has to wait a turn until she can heal. Oh god. Am I gonna move, away, like, try to flee now? Oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna have you... A healing, healing received, and stress healing, but I can give you two turns. I could also attack. He's pleading for eight. That would be another four bleed. They don't, they don't attack, right? We have, we have three turns now. I think... The extra turn on the healer is pretty amazing. But what we're gonna do is start cooking. It actually heals her for a bit. And then we gotta remove that as well. Gonna do the cougar's leap. We're finally back in working order and you do this to heal and steal yourself some restoration. Right? So we don't have to flee. In comes the nether cripple them. Mortality clarified in a That's real stack. bad. Their 
stretched at the very precipice of oblivion. Okay, I can kill you, I guess. I can debuff your accuracy. Debuff resist is 80%. Okay, I think I want to debuff the accuracy, right? Uh, get rid of your dodge debuff. And we will debuff your accuracy. Oh no! Okay, now we try to stun him, I guess. Come on. It's gotta be stunned. Okay, we're fine. It's not good, but we're fine. Skyver is dead. The Flesh Eater is stunned. With the Skyver dead, we'll get guys of Death's Law. Do I want him to heal himself? Kinda. I could try to... No, I can't restun. I could mark an attack for a lot of damage. Instead of the self-heal. Yeah, okay. Weakened. He got two new turns? Am I seeing... Oh, no, that's just the one turn that's two in, in reality. There's the extra Hound's Rush damage. Oh no, you did get two extra turns. I kind of want the self heal, but on the other hand... The victory. Perhaps the if he just finishes him off, I'm completely fine with that. Self heal, steal the restoration again. Now you are screwed. You will not be healed for a lot. You're dead, right? T 12 turns, yes. So I can do Ravenous on the corpse. Wait, shouldn't he have healed himself for a lot there? Consume corpse, heal 35% max. Did I, did I misread that? No. Unless he has to hit something and then consume another corpse next to it instead of hitting the corpse. He didn't also get the, I think... Oh! Did his attack kill the corpse so he couldn't consume it afterwards? Stuff like that? We can't do Heart of Gold here. Which means I'll just do this. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I was hoping the healer would get another turn. That was extremely spooky. Like, do we... I think I'm just gonna do this. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. I think that's the best thing we could do. Remove mortality debuff and re uh, reduce stress is nice. Healing received for one companion. Whole party extra food consumed and healing while eating. That's not good. Nobody's diseased. We don't need the hounds watch. I like therapy dog. I like. Lead a mount for the party. That's actually really good. Search for herbs. Search for herbs and food. Hmm. We don't. We don't have like. There's mortality buff to be removed, but I think it's not worth it. Accuracy and crit on a companion would be nice. Wait, but she herself was the one with the worst accuracy. Do we have someone who can buff her accuracy? And that's just herself, not. There's self accuracy buff. Gonna take that. Now we got four still. That is enough for your stuff twice. Search for herbs and food. Remove diseases? No. Someone gets tanky. Stress levels are completely fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. At least for now. I can't have him eat this, right? If I right click, it's just gonna... <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't have him eat this though. Okay, we got it. <laughs> that was harsh. Now, searching for food again doesn't seem right. I guess we do get accuracy and crit on... Wait, who have you got the, ac you got the accuracy? On the other one? He's not religious, so he should be fine. The 
light, the promise of safety. Okay, first. I thought I had switched that out. Now we can actually have him fully functional. <laughs> I can't believe the last fight got so hard because we fought against the Skyver and the three, and, and I mean three slots, two, two enemies who had high bleed resist, so the rest of the team couldn't kill the enemies fast. And I forgot to use dog treats in that fight. That would have helped a lot. Got the secret room very nice. We're gonna do this, move around, loot here, move around here, and then check what's over there. We need to open something for the inv for the quest item. I mean, I guess it's gonna be the jade. It's gotta be. Okay, gotta take it like that. Okay, take that. That could be stress relief here, right? We don't need stress relief for it quite yet. This way is faster from the other side. We don't have to fight that battle, right? They're all stealth. Now, at least you can attack through stealth. Oh, and he steals the stealth, and now he's no longer stealth, so we're gonna get you. Oh, uh, got him. Give them no and then she quarter. can attack the thing, yeah, okay. That's also not works through these two. But this. That's the repost, right? And then you do the guard. And then next turn we switch you to cook mode. Already very much worth it. Oh, extremely worth it. I think they can attack, ev attack everything with their hook. Now you can do this. It's pretty big. Do I activate the repost again? Do I give my healer a second turn? I think I gotta activate the repost again. Otherwise it would not be good enough. Now you can do the counter. It's not gonna be great because you're stealth. No, you're no longer on Gusto. Oh my goodness, they were just attacking the wrong targets every single time. That's great. Okay, let's start with the cooking. You do a 1 and a 2. And you're dead. Slowly. Like that. Gently. Ooh. It's just one attack on someone who doesn't repost, and then you screw it up. Should be a, a kill even with a crit. And then we... Two turns on my... Uh, this is kind of like the... Uh, so many extra turns team right now. And then your second turn... To the butcher slice. We don't need food. I guess we shouldn't take this. Some crests would be nice. Oh, but the anti-venom was good against the Skyver. That's spooky, but I think we're gonna do it like that. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now 250 gold I can get rid of. Okay. Move down here for that curio. A sack might actually not be worth it. 750 gold. It's better than expected. Now I'm gonna use two the torches and swap them out, right? A blazing star is born. One stack should be enough. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight torches. That works out fine. A ghoul and a swine. I don't have you in the wrong right decision, the right uh, position. Could have done bird of prey. I'm gonna try to stun you. I think that's pretty good, actually. Both of them have low bleed resist. The ghoul is the more dangerous one. Good enough. 
yeah. definitely. Now you get extra situation. crit versus bleeding, right? Well, bleed should be really good, by the way, after the resting. Plus 20% bleed amount on the whole team. Let's try with the uh, mark and damage. And the second mark, uh, debuff and damage. That's insane. Size alone does not the when he gets an extra turn, that's actually so much value, because the second mark increases the damage of the uh, attack afterwards by a lot. That's a huge difference. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I'm gonna do the extra turn on you. Because I think the way we win right now, oh no, no repose, but that's fine, is by doing the stun. Okay. I could do the butcher slice twice. Inspiration and improvement. Just kill him. I was thinking we could have him. I don't know, you do this. She can still I don't know, you do this. Actually buffs the whole party. We get feathered bile. That's a buff. I'll take wait. No, this is the right way. Ignore that, thank you. I was thinking I was going down there for some reason. Ignore that, thank you. Oh no. And there's some stress. Okay, there's a secret room here. Oh, it's a bit early, but I'll take it. We're not coming back, so yeah. A fortune oh. waiting to be spent. Look at that fortune waiting to be spent. We got so much gold right now. I'm not gonna use the torchlight yet. A group of infamous brigands. I don't have you on the back as again. The grenadier does AoE. I would like it if he didn't do that. So let's try to kill him. Impressive. I mean AoE that doesn't actually get reposted because he throws the grenade on one enemy and then all the others get damaged. These two do AoE as well but they can, we can repose their stuff. Actually then, we don't really need the gun, right? She gets damage and protection off then, yeah, but... Kuga's leap is still pretty important, exactly for that movement. Unnerved, unbalanced. Okay. Actually, you you were stunned. Early. No, you weren't. I'm gonna kill you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna kill you. Actually, did I need to do that? You would have killed yourself on the repulse, right? I should have probably attacked here. That's not nice. I don't know if you've realized that, but that's not nice at all. Try the stun the third time. Okay. Dodge is fine. We really need him in a second position. Do I want to give you an extra turn? No. I want to get ready for his reign of whip punishment shenanigans. Poor man is missing. Now you can use your point blank shot. It's not gonna help you much. We'll try another stun. This time it worked. He's actually dead. Thank you. I was hoping for a self crit. Uh, give her an extra turn. You do heal and stress heal there. And then we do your heal and stress heal here. 
for some additional stress healing because he kind of needs it. The bigger the beautiful. Beast, the greater the glory. No, this is hmm better than quite a bit. But what if we find another fallen party? The dog treats will be amazing. Unless I forget him again, of course. Do we need? Oh, we get the last scout. We do not need the skeleton key anymore. There's no treasure, it's just curios. And... We... The, I mean, there... No, there, there's no curio we have to interact with then. Yeah. And we found the secret room as well. I'm not just gonna move into the battle, right? No, we don't need to. You have 95. So we'll use these. That's big stress healing. Damn it. I don't think this will help. No. Gonna try. Nasty gash. Very unfortunate. It is another fallen party. And a full one this time. That's not good at all. Okay, how do we do? What? Oh, you're inspirational. You increase the damage on everybody. And it's a bounty hunter. Oh crap! <laughs> oh my goodness! The mark on the on no! This is really dangerous. Oh, and they have such good equipment. Okay, I need to get you off fourth position. Then you lose the profits eye and the wrathful bandana bonus. But I also need you dead because you're inspirational. Which means, I guess I will hit you to stun you, because you're the dangerous one, and then I'll do go fetch to disable your trinkets. We will do the block on you, because you're marked, you're probably gonna get hit by this or this. I guess that you can't block, actually. Could give him another turn to undo the stun? No. I'm still scared shitless from the bounty hunter. Oh no, he can move back! Okay, I'm gonna take a turn. She gets protection. Also, she's the one who got hit, so the heal is kinda okay. Death <sighs> she's not even marked. Do I mark and reduce someone's accuracy? No, I want the repost again. This uh, hero party is really dangerous, especially since most of her healing is healing over time. Thankfully, that's kinda perfect. You're doing a big horror on my team. <laughs> okay, I want to start cooking, but I also need to get him off this door. You healed him, horrored everybody, and he gets ridiculous dodge. We're really screwed. Okay, we have a chance now. Do you have... Actually, that one go will go away after this round, right? So we have a chance to... No! That's not enough. Now you can kill him. Or you can get her a second turn. I need the turn on her, but killing him is more important. Okay, no collect bounties happening. That's not gonna help much, because they're still really scary. Okay. I think... Ooh, I'd like to dodge boost and heal. But this is like damage and accuracy, right? So we do a stun. You have ninety percent stun resist. That's a fifty-fifty. Or do we do mark? The mark is fifty percent extra damage. I think the fifty percent stun. I'll take that over fifty percent damage. You are not in fourth position, by the way. The kill was really good because this is able to drink. It's for real now. We don't have to get anybody off Death Star, which means it's actually time to get into cooking. It's still scary stuff. 
You can uh, block again. You can block again. Yeah, we got to do that. That will help us. Oh, I've got to kill him next, next, by the way. The inspirational is really annoying. Now you can't stun. Do I want to stun here? I think it, the same thing is true. I'd rather have a 50% stun than the extra bit of damage, because the extra bit of damage will not kill him this turn, and the stun will get someone to skip a turn. That's a bad attack on my healer. I don't like it. That the turn she's no longer guarded. That shuffle is also bad, but that's actually the least bad shuffle, because she can still do her stuff. I want her guarded, though. I need her guarded. That's pretty important. Now the guard is actually really bad. Oh, thank you for having your turn now. Try to kill the Crusader. We, I think we got him. If this hits, yeah, that's a kill. I guess we'll kill you next. You still no, you you used your completely fine. You're actually debuffing your damage, and then we will do a one, a two. Bleed, please. And two off, but no longer inspirational. I need to heal you. Because that also gives her restoration. Okay. No! Okay. You're dead now. It's just the Hellion left. Okay, ooh, that's that's really good. We're in decent shape now, I'd say. I mean, actually, we're better in decent shape. Except for the fact that Inspiring Cry deals so much stress is ridiculous. You take a second turn. Confusion, nerves, and panic. You take some attacks. You have less damage still. Oh, really? Again, the turn was she's not guarded. We might be able to get a kill now. Especially if I take this for the extra damage. That's ideal. Because we get we can get value out of the two turns now. You take some healing. And then you... I don't know. Take the heal over time off her. Okay. We're gonna take our time. Maybe we can get a heal still. That is a heal. Um, I'm happy with this. Okay, unfortunate. But we're fine. This expedition at least promises success. That was spooky. That was really spooky. Everybody back in order, and then we move you back. Now, that was also actually <sighs> the stress. Okay, we gotta gotta work on that. Is your your trap disarm is also ninety five? So let's take you first. Compulsively checking the sack. Fine by me. Oh, that's just the quest. Okay. We could end this here. We're gonna continue. That's some free stress heal, and then two additional curios. I'm not gonna walk for these battles, right? It's not just battle. If there was curios there, yes. But just for the battle, we don't really get... Oh, almost walked into it. Wait, I should, I should try to de-stress him. Fully. Instead of splitting it up like that. A handsome reward. For a task well oh, before. we can do stress healing here and here, by the way. And here. But yeah, I, I shouldn't spread the stress healing out. I should focus it on one character because I don't have a rest anymore. Normally, I want to sp spread it out, and then you do when you do feast while camping, you get some even stress healing on everybody. But thankfully, we know where we can 
use our torches to burn some stuff and it's actually even more. You're at 20 still, so you take that. We'll go over here, use this on her, and then we're fine. Okay. So the last fight was real scary. But we got through it. Now, the triple death door recovery is bad, and I think we even had a death door check somewhere. So that's real bad. But on the other hand, we got lots of gold, the party kind of worked. These foodstuffs yield In this benefit. situation, the harlot was actually really good. And the swine will not. Being someone I can do the guard repose combination on, the fact that she could hit the backline, did bleeds, did the reposts, and then could give the cook a second turn, which is really good on the cook. Like, she gets buffs on her healing at the end of the turn, or if you stop cooking, for every action she takes, and the double healing, for example, she can heal two single targets, it helps out with her lack of AoE healing, except for the cooking, or she can do it twice on the same, and then basically take all the healing over time first on herself, so this basically helps with her if she needs to self-heal. We gotta get rid of that. Perfectionist is unfortunate. That might have been one of the scariest form parties, by the way. A modest offering from those oh, bumper crops is everything's free in the next time. By the spreading calamity. You had a disease the whole... Oh no, you got a disease and you can't heal. And what is your disease? Oh, that happened at one point from, from her, right? This is not a bad one, actually. Chain, exchange speed for 5% max HP? How much is that? That's 2 max HP. Against 1 speed. It's probably not worth it. But I'll keep it. I'm a cheapskate, we're gonna use all this money to help out with a quirk handling. Because, I mean, this is good. If we get this every week, our guys will be really powerful. Oh, it was a long episode again. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. By the way, I love the bumper crowd, the American Gothic picture reference here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I actually that was a surprising amount of fun, and I really liked the party. I didn't think it would work as well as it did. Now it's not it's not one of my best party compositions. As you could see, there there were quite a few death stores. We don't have someone who's really tanky here, for example. But there was still a lot of fun. Again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>